It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles. Next on Madden NFL 25. Take a drive from downtown along Broad Street. You run into Lincoln Financial Field. The home of the Eagles here in South Philadelphia. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Or should I say Dean Olson? Because tight end you doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at your position in the current game right now. And Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple years, every single team, at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs competing for Super Bowls, have a legitimate number one threat at the tight end position. It almost feels like if you don't have a tight end, your offense is missing a key piece. I know I'm biased, but at tight end you, man, we, we make no mistake about it. We think we are the most important position in football, and you're not going to convince me otherwise. The air strong on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Browns went out by their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. The stardom early in Houston. Now his third season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances one after another and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. Here's a second and nine. Now it's Watson. Open man, that's Amari Cooper. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. And he's going to be brought down behind the line. This defense fired up to start the game. It'll bring up fourth down. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. To throw on second down is Watson. He's got his man, the tight end, David Njoku. It's a pickup of 13 yards. First down, Cleveland. On the ground, this is four. And he'll get back to midfield, so no gain on that one. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Watson. Hit as he throws and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. He's got his man complete. That's Judy. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. And this is exactly the Jerry Judy they thought they were getting when they went out and traded for him from Denver this offseason. Wasn't it, Mike? I mean, just can he be that reliable weapon in this passing game to just give a little juice to this Browns offense? And so far, the Alabama product, he has done just that as he picks up a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, give to four. And he brings it down to about the 28-yard line. 
Josh Sweat there on the tackle. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, Watson. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Jerry Judy, the intended target. Now it's going to be third down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. Throwing on third down. Watson. And the rush gets home. He goes down. They go. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. Fourth down, Dustin Hopkins now for the Browns field goal. This one from 52 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay a scoreless game. And that's just a tough way to finish off what was a good opening drive. And obviously, as a kicker, you have to have a short memory. But you can bet he'll be thinking about that one the rest of the way. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Right to the air. It's Hurts. That's caught. Saquon Barkley. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Hertz working in the pistol. There's the tight end, Greg Calcaterra. He's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. His ability to find open space and be friendly for the quarterback. It's easier said than done. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space. But not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. He was looking for his tight end, Dallas Goddard, that time. And it'll lead to a second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming. But guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. He finds Devontae Smith. And they'll take this down inside the 35. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. I know it's easy from up in the booth, Mike, but I think that's one of those zone reads where the quarterback needs to pull it and keep it himself. The defense was clearly keyed on the running back. Not much room in there. No gain. That Jalen Hurts on second down. He'll get about six before he's taken down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Third and short, and Hurts will throw. Second 
17 yards on the game, and now they've got first and goal. Nice pick up there by Saquon Barkley, and this is an element of his game that early on in his career, he really excelled at. You think back to his rookie year, Mike, in 2018, 91 catches. Last year, only 41. Now, I think a lot of that can be blamed on some quarterback issues and some injuries to Daniel Jones, but you got to get him back going in the passing game. Here's Barkley. He'll get a yard or two to the eight. Second and goal. Now we're going to pause here. An injured player, and it's A.J. Brown who was hurt on that last play. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Ball is at the eight for second and goal. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. If there's one positive remaining, it's the fact that they're still in scoring position, but with the way they've been able to move the ball down here in the red zone, they're thinking six, but after that last sack, their chances of converting here for a touchdown have gotten a lot more difficult. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Now some movement up front, and we'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Throwing is Hurts. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. This is a really popular concept on third down. It's good versus man. It's good versus zone. They call it mesh routes or drag routes. They want to create some traffic in the middle of the field and pop the receiver out the backside of the defense. But give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. They rallied to the ball and keeps him short from picking up the first down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Eagles are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Browns offense ready to see the football for the second time. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and 10. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. and a yard. On the ground, this is Deontay Foreman. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Now the offensive coordinator's got a decision on his hand, Mike. It was second and one. He decides to go with a conservative run. Gets stopped for no gain. He's in the exact same position now on third down. Does he try to change it up? Or does he just turn around and hand it off again? Watson's going to throw here on third and one. That's caught. It's the tight end, Najuku. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense was right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but anytime on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and... I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. 
on play action. It's Watson. He's going to air this one out looking for Cooper. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. On second down, here's Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Najoku. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And this is taken in by the defense. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field. So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. Now it's a movement up front. Flags down. Mistake filled. First half continues. Joe Batonio, former All-Pro, guilty on that one. Again, it's Watson. It was a short throw caught by Najoku. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. The left gets there. He'll be tracked down. Every time a quarterback is sacked, everyone kind of looks around at the offensive line. Oh, come on, guys, pick it up. I don't think this was on the old line at all. I think the quarterback is holding on to the ball too long. You know what they say, Mike? Sacks? Those are quarterback stats. So on fourth down, here's Corey Bohorquez to kick it away. Back deep for Philly, it's Cooper DeGene. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Eagles offense ready to take over for their second possession. This will begin at their own 13-yard line, so work to do starting with this first and 10. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's second and six. So just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. It's the Eagles with the early advantage. And we're back in Philly in a moment. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. The second down throw is incomplete. 
Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. On third down, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. Now, fair catch will be taken out near the 35-yard line. The Browns offense ready to get back at it. They'll start out first down and 10. Back to throw is Watson. Off throw, right side taken by Najoku. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. A running play here for Foreman. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. The offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving, but... Not on this defense. Not only do they not pick up the first down, but after suffering that loss, now they've got some decisions to make on third. Watson now on third down. They'll try to set up the screen here. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen game used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard, they time it up well, and the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. As this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. They need to say, okay, we've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs, and next thing you know, you find your group. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. Here's Watson now on second down. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Nice job of getting him down there for the sack. And Huff has now joined the Eagles this offseason. He had a breakout campaign last year in New York that saw him record 10 sacks on the year. They're hoping he can fill those shoes left by Hassan Reddick. And so far, Mike, so good. Third and long. Gun snap to Watson. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? Dustin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This a 46-yard attempt. 
He makes up for the earlier miss. This time, the kick is good. And the Browns will tie the game at three apiece. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal draws us even. It is now 3-3 as the kick's away. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. And they will finally get him down, but he gets all the way close to the 40-yard line. The Eagles offense getting set to get back to work. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just the pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and 10. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones. But once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. Man in motion is Brown. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Nice run there by Barkley, and he certainly surprised a lot of people in free agency. Not only that he left the Giants, but having chose to sign with one of their biggest rivals in the process, he now joins a loaded Eagles roster, and having him in the fold will certainly help as they try to get back to another Super Bowl here in 2024. Off-balance throw. It's complete. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And this is where the quarterback's improv skills really kind of come into play. The ability to play off-platform, throw from different arm angles. It's something that we're seeing a lot play out across the league. And yes, you have to throw from a spot in the middle of the pocket. But if you can only do that, it's hard to play quarterback in today's NFL. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. This pains me to say, Mike, because I love the idea of feeding the tight end, but you can only go his way so many times if it's not going to result in positive outcomes. So wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get his backs, his wide receivers, get some other guys involved, and then later in the game, go back to his big tight end. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. They'll try to run here with Barkley. And they're going to get him down close to the marker. Was he able to reach the ball out? He did it. Great spot and a great run. First down. First and goal. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. A run on first and goal. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. Here's Hurts. He'll take this himself. Can he get away? No! He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. The key to running the read option, Mike, is that the timing has to be just right. If it's too slow getting going, a lot of the times defenders can get in the backfield and cause havoc. And that's exactly what happened here. Third and goal for Hurts. To the goal line and in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Eagles. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys.
clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Here's Jake Elliott for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles take a 10-3 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. A return now from the four. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The Browns offense about ready to take over once more. Just the lone field goal for them so far, down 10-3 in this one. And they'll start first and 10. The throw is Watson. And as he throw it, the pass is incomplete. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. A pistol give to Foreman. And he'll take this up past the 40. Oh, pick up a five. Here now, third and five. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That one on target to Moore. A gain of 16 yards. It's a Browns first down. Out of the gun, Watson. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. Here comes Ford. And he had pushed through one tackle, but he's backed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain here. The offense is trying to test the edges of the perimeter of this defense, Mike. But the defense is just too quick to the ball. Total team defense. Pursuit. 11 hacks to the ball carrier. It's exactly what we saw here. Keep that game to nothing. Throwing on third down. Watson. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. Nick Sirianni thought about it, and he wants another look. He has thrown the challenge flag. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around. He has control. So that's what the referee is looking at here. So a smart decision on the defensive side to use the challenge here. This winds up as an incomplete pass. And that's going to work out well. Out of bounds, and they mark it inside the five-yard line. Devontae Smith and the rest of the Philly offense heading back onto the field. They'll operate from their own three-yard line as they try to put something together here on this drive. It's first and ten. Two 
minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia right after this. They face second down and seven. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. This one is caught by Dotson. Call it a gain of 13. Good for an Eagles first down. First roll of backed up offense. Get the first first down. The last thing you want to do, punt the ball back and give your opponent a short field. Mission accomplished. Now, can they maintain possession long enough to see if they can cap this drive off with some points? That'll be caught left side. It's Goddard. Second and seven. Man in motion is Brown. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. It's just a matter of time. I don't care how good you are or how good a hand you have. You are going to drop passes. It is inevitable in the NFL. But it's the guys that don't let one drop pass lead to two. They have the ability to put it behind them, move forward, and they can't wait for that next ball to be thrown away. And they're going to move the ball all the way up to the 35-yard line. And this is why most teams might decide to take the ball first for the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeouts. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance to double it up again right after the halftime break. Hurts will try it again. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Hertz will work here from the pistol. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. Third and short, and Hurts will throw. That's complete. Tight end got it. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Again, Hurts. He's going to tuck it and go. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second. They stop it here with just under 40 seconds until halftime. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold them to just a short game. On second down, Hurts. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And third down coming up. That's one of those plays where you come off the field, Mike, and you're getting a lot of high fives. Hey, good job. But then that secondary's coach pulls you over to the side and says, hey, nice play. But next time, let's come away with the pick. On third down, here's Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. 
That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Ever so often, Mike, you can see these offenses and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. They're just trying to extend the lead here and this is definitely one they're going to want to have back. The Browns offense going to get it one final time in this first half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now it's Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here. They'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go until halftime. They'll work now on second and four. Now Watson. That's to the right side and incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for. And it'll be third down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. Got a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, it will lead to some easier and better completions. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? Here's Corey Bohorquez now, as he is on to punt for Cleveland. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. So we've reached halftime here in South Philly, and the Eagles are on top as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically. For the coaches, Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our halftime report. We just watched a fine first half out of the mobile quarterback, that's Jalen Hurts. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. start the drive and he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage that play going absolutely nowhere with the struggles they had running the ball in the first half Mike it makes sense that they're trying here early in the second to get this ball carrier going but this last run's not going to do him any favors another rush another loss of yards once again it's Barkley He's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. No help from those last two runs. It is third and 13.
a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, it hurts. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Throwing is Burks. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Well, they'll get some of the sack yards back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. They may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Man in motion is Smith. On third down, it hurts. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find the receiver. And down he goes. You find yourself trailing coming out of the halftime break. Your defense is going to start on the field. And man, what a great way to get this half started. Keep this game within one possession. Get the ball back to your offense and see what they can do. Here comes the Eagles punt team. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. Crochet to return it. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything. That's over the middle and intercepted. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. I think anytime you find yourself trailing in the second half, Mike, all offensive play callers fight the urge to chase those points. They tend to get a little bit over-eager. They tend to push the envelope sometimes a little too far. Those turnovers, they only make the deficit grow, not shrink. Now, there's a lot of football left, Mike. They can still get back into this. They just have to be a little bit smarter about which risks you're willing to take. First and ten, it's Barkley. They'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. That was Jordan Hicks who got him down. A pistol snap back to Hertz. He's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. It is... Third and ten. Dotson, the man in motion. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. A pass caught by Saquon. On fourth down, here comes Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia field goal. This one from 47 yards out. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles add on to their lead. And 
back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. This is going to be taken in at the three. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The visitor's offense ready for this next possession. They're in a 10-point hole. It's 13-3 as this drive starts with first down. Open this drive on the ground with four. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here's Watson. That's caught by four. We'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. They'll try and run for the first down. It's four. time for the Browns. They're set to kick it away. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. DeGene to return it. And he'll get something there on the return. Able to take this back to the 20-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. To throw is Hurts. Look in middle, and he's got Brown. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. <laughs> to throw on second down is Hurts. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. All these defensive linemen, I promise you, they all want sacks. That is how you get paid. That is how you make your name. But it's also the other plays where you can affect the quarterback. Can you make them feel uncomfortable? Or in this case, you don't get the sack, but it was the hit that's able to alter the pass to fall incomplete. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Bad in motion is Brown. Third and two. Now Hurts. Going to call his own number. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. When you're defending Jalen Hurts, Mike, the challenge is not only do you have to try to take away all the weapons at his disposal, 
but you have to account for him as a runner. And in this case, that's exactly what the offense dials up, and you can see why. Set to go now on first and ten. Now, Hurts. He's got his tight end, Goddard, working the middle of the field. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Mike, did you see how hyped the sideline got after that run after catch? I mean, I thought the bench was going to run out onto the field to celebrate. He refused to go down on first contact and second contact, for that matter. A second down throw for Hurts. And we'll go right back to Goddard. He's got it again. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Hurts to the air on first down. He'll look underneath here for Barkley. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike. You never go broke taking a profit. And give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back allow him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the area and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball felt incomplete, but, man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. That'll be taken in by Parker. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. Here's a run to the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. One more time, they try Barkley. He'll get a couple, mark them down at the three. This defense in desperate need of a stop. And here comes third down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page. And now brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here comes Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Elliott's kick is good. And the Eagles will extend their lead. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. Here comes a return from the five. 
and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over once again. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. And a good piece of running there. He'll get about nine yards past the 35-yard line. A good spot here, second and a yard. Shotgun snap to Watson. Going deep downfield for Judy. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion, but now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they've got to get some defensive stops. On first down, Watson. That's to Cooper again. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. He'll keep it on the ground. He'll take this for a couple, but... The official signal, he has enough first down. From the shotgun, here's Watson. His throw left is complete with Judy. A gain there of 16 yards. First down, Cleveland. You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. He'll run. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Well, this play, Mike, was clearly about the job of this defensive line. Great job holding their ground, forcing these blockers to be stood up. Nowhere to go for this running back, and they hold him to no gain. They try again. It's second and ten. They'll stick to the ground. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They were first and 10. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second day. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and when you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. The best offensive play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under center run game, like we just saw here, with their under center play action game and the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. No need much. It is third and inches. Throwing is Watson. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. 
T's practiced these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with the touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he will score. Game on. David Njoku. Touchdown, Cleveland. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Browns are back within six. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. On second down, Hurts. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Now Hurts and the Eagles will try the two-point conversion. Back to throw. Score. Here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Now return coming from the seven. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The visitors offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. A quick slant into the hands of Cooper. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Watch it. Left side, he's got the Joku. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Back to throw is Watson. And they 
they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. A throw caught by Judy on the outside. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. When they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. There's that man again. Another catch. They'll come up here on second down and five. Play action. Watson. Now he takes off. These are the plays that just drive the defensive coordinator crazy, Mike. You do everything right, but you don't account for the quarterback scrambling. He's able to get out of the pocket and gain enough for a first down. He can still get a first down at the one. First and 10, they go from the 11. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. Certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. He pulls it in around the five. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he's going to be taken down. Take us to the two-minute warning. It's only a yard, but a big yard. Fourth and one. They snap it to Watson. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Deshaun Watson. Touchdown, Browns. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. Well, here we go. The Browns will go for two here. They'll drop to throw. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. Turn. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. 
to break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Barkley. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. So got it. The tight end comes in motion. He'll stay on the ground with Parkley. And he'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. Here's third and two. From the shotgun, it hurts. That's taken in by Dotson. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Third down and nine. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. Yeah. 